the last French hope to conquer the Tour de France. An exceptional climber, passionate, temperamental, with a career full of ups and downs, he was able to win on the most legendary peaks or sink into the greatest of hells. A rider who made us vibrate, cry, love. Do you want to know the story of Thibaut Pinot? Follow my wheel and I'll tell you. One of the last romantics of cycling, a rider of instinct whose desire of freedom has always been bigger than his ambitions. His career has been full of ups and downs, a different cyclist, a different man. A familiar, shy person who prefers to spend his time on his farm, surrounded by animals, than attending to the press after a hard stage crossing the Alps. A man who found in the bicycle his way of expression, his way of finding freedom. A freedom that, within professional cycling, he almost never had. He's seen as someone who is fragile, who has anxieties, fears, but when you scratch deep enough, he's actually one of those riders who goes the furthest into suffering. One of the most beloved French cyclists in the peloton leaves professional cycling this season after a career full of successes, failures, injuries, and above all, great feats. The Frenchman's career has been one of the highest highs and lowest lows with soaring mountain victories and agonizing defeats, with emotions that reach through the television screen and into viewers' hearts. Over the last 12 years, Pinot has harnessed public emotion like no other rider. We felt heartache in his despair and bask in the joy of his success. When misfortune struck, we've shared his sorrow, safe in the hope that one day soon his smile would return. The last great French hope, which has long held the illusions of a nation on its shoulders placed in the crosshairs of those who wish for its next Tour de France champion. Pinot was expected to fill the shoes that had been prepared for him by others, both cycling fans and journalists. Expectations that were certainly too much for the Frenchman, who even so, will always live on in the memory of the fans. A different cyclist, a different man. His climbing prowess and panache was first put on major display in the 2012 Tour de France when he attacked with fellow Frenchman Tony Galopin on the Col de la Croix on stage 8 and then rode solo for 10 kilometers to victory to the ecstatic cheers of his country. He finished the Tour in 10th place overall. After finishing 7th overall in the Vuelta a España in 2013, Pinot returned to the Tour de France and made his general classification bid on La Planche du Belfield, missing out on a stage win at the hands of eventual race winner Nibali, but getting enough time to move into the top 10. He parlayed a strong third week into a second place in the standings by stage 19, but dropped to third after the time trial. However, he stood on the podium in Paris with compatriot Pihou in a historic first French podium placing in 18 years. In 2015, he would reach one of the biggest milestones of his career, the victory in Alpe de Juez. But he was still not strong enough to face a three-week race with confidence. Set out to improve his time trialing in 2016 and showed the work paid off by winning the time trial of the Criterium International at Porto Vecchio, the final mountain stage and general classification. He won the time trial in the Tour de Romandie, a stage for the Criterium du Dauphiné, the French time trial title, and was a major contender for the Tour de France. But again, illness precluded a result and he dropped out before stage 13 with bronchitis and he missed the Olympic Games as a result too. The next year, Pinot opted to race the Giro d'Italia and was in third place at 43 seconds behind Quintana on the penultimate stage, but dropped out of contention in the final time trial as Tom Dumoulin powered the overall victory. Victories in major summits in the Vuelta, Tour, and Giro, incredible performances and very good results in other major races adorned the Frenchman's track record. But the final climax was missing, and French fans were beginning to grow impatient. We were finally getting to the big moment in Pinot's career, the 2019 Tour de France. 
It was his big year. Pinot arrived at the French race in the best shape of his life, but fate is cruel and practically in 48 hours elevated the French cyclist to absolute glory to then deposit him without any compassion in the most miserable hells of cycling. The rider of the Groupama team was in a position to fight for that 2019 tour when the race reached stage 19 with the finish in the Tourmalet, the great mountain of the Tour de France. History of the French race, history of cycling. A mob of fervent Frenchmen gathered at the top of the mythical mountain to cheer on their great idol, who in front of his dream scenario didn't disappoint. With an attack from 300 meters, which neither Chrysoid nor Alaphilippe could follow, Pino crossed the summit of the Tour Malay in glory before a fervent nation that dreamt of having a compatriot back on the top of the podium. Thibaut Pinot, the great French hope, finally seemed to have broken that insurmountable barrier for French cyclists. However, just a day later, all that frenzy turned to tragedy. In front of the torn eyes of an entire country, the Groupama FDJ rider got off his bike in what has become one of the most enduring images of his career. Suffering from a torn muscle, he climbed into his team's car on stage 19, crying inconsolably, with French hopes shattered, unable to continue. The man who, so many times, represented the dreams of a country found solace in the arms of his teammate, William Bonnet, an image that made us love even more the French cyclist. During this year 2023, Thibaut Pinot closed the final chapter of his history in the Tour de France with a style par excellence, attacking on the local roads in front of his most loyal followers. It was as if the day came with the script ready, the opportunity to put on one last show in front of family and friends, and Pinot followed his lines with the dedication of a trained actor. He didn't win the stage, but he felt in the most special race for a French cyclist, the support, recognition, and love, not only from the fans of his country, but from the entire cycling world. A cyclist who made us enjoy, get excited, cry, and above all, feel. Thank you very much, Thibaut Pinot. Thank you for making it this far. Subscribe and tell us what you think about Pinot in the comments. You can support our work by activating a super thanks. And if you want to continue enjoying the best cyclists in history, don't miss this.